Hi, hi viewers. Good evening. Today I would like to demonstrate uh, procure to pay cycle, uh, including everything like uh, from scratch. So we will create item first. Go to inventory, items, master items. So give the item name. So let's suppose I would like to create uh, some. Lenovo Share File Note which I recently bought. Control D, put template done. So if it is purchasing, I have enabled the food supply list. I remove that and I am putting some list files here. Saving the item. Yes, Control S. Since my mouse somehow is not working, Alt all Control S. I have successfully assigned my item to my child in driver. So go to purchase order and write the purchase order. Purchasing, purchase orders, purchase orders. So put supplier here. Some SQL I have created supplier name and site choose some Ahmedabad location site and I put something like P2P cycle. So come back to lines region. Go ahead and put your Lenovo item. Yeah, put some quantity and put some price when you are expecting. And what is the need by date? And go to shipments. And go to receiving controls, check the receipt routing. I would like to put direct delivery and make it one step. And go to distribution, go to put 720 default there. And how you want to match your invoice, go to more, put match option as 2 or how you want it. Put control S. System has been generated the PO number 4050. Approve the PO. Okay. The PO has been approved. 4050. Go to receive receiving. Put receipts. 4050. And simply go ahead and hit the box to the Subunit has been defaulted from the distribution, so no need to check anything. Simply click on save. System has been successfully created 600027 and it will run the receiving transaction processor since it is in immediate mode. The RCV processing mode is immediate, so it is running automatically and the ADS, Applied Digital Solution, uh, will put the records into payable interface. So we can see this. Yeah. ADS payment pay on receipt auto invoice. The program is running automatically. So once this has been finished, so we can go ahead and create the invoice. So whenever we make the purchase order, there is a two accounts will get into hit. What are all those? The accrual account and inventory account ok how to check this account combination where it has been hit so check in inventory if it is costed or not go ahead and put material transaction and if you know your item you can put the item here it's a Lenovo yeah you can find it has been created but it is not costed yet so it will take some time so we will quickly come back after our cost worker has been done Meanwhile, we will do what we will do. We will create invoice for this. Go to payables, invoices, entry, invoices. So, if you want to default couple of information from your purchase order, put that number here. It will bring the details there. Give the invoice date, invoice number. I am giving same number as your number. Putting invoice. 
okay some amount i am placing and i will match that with my purchase order so everything is remaining default same as it is so here i would like to do payment method as electronic so i don't have any check printing etc so that i am using electronic go to match and find with your purchase order so check this match check box and match it it will match what will be the amount it will be 1200 so put the 1200 here okay 1200 it will be match so that red color goes and it will be black save it go to actions validate the invoice so here you can see the validation now when i will create the invoice you can see the quantity built in your uh, payment uh, purchasing uh, shipment level go to final and posting so that we create the accounting entries so what accounting entries has been made at the time of uh, payment sorry the invoice it will be your accrual account and liability account so your accrual account will be debited and your liability account will be credited so go ahead and view the general entries you can see the accrual account will be debited you can see that class and the liability account will be credited you can see that accounting entries so this is the one accounting entry at the time of uh, creating the invoice we will proceed the material transaction whether any accounting has been generated for this or not at the time of making the no, still not it generated so it may take me some time okay we go ahead and make the payment go to actions click on pay in full you can manually also do that if you go this way most of the information will default into payment scheme so payment date is will be today's date and bank account which i have created will come here and electronic method so profile will come here select any one of the profile so all will default there control s so it is the payment method i was select not selected correctly so electronic so go ahead and select the mt100 so it will allow me to proceed ahead you want to check so you need to make check printing etc ready so the invoice number and other details will come here it is not processed yet so you go to actions you can create accounting and you can post it so when you make it final the system will create the accounting entries so you can go ahead and check the accounting entry see it is has been processed now to check the accounting entries go to tools view accounting so it will take me here it will be like your liability account will be debited and the class grievance account will be credited so you can check that uh, screen let me check my material transaction meanwhile whether it is created anything or not go ahead and hit find since it is not cost yet i am doubting whether the cost manager is up and running go ahead in your inventory setup transaction interface managers yeah all are running but it is taking five minutes of time so we will check at last again so we come back here as i said the liability account has been debited and the class clearance account will be credited so we can check that account in this here all right so we have successfully received the material and we successfully made the invoice and make the payment if you go to purchasing and purchase order so we have already here all right we have already here okay just control f11 it will refresh the screen what we will check is we will check the shipment level see it has been approved and closed you go to the shipment level you can go to the status we have successfully this order receive and build okay what will be the status it has been closed i have been closed the invoice when you make the invoice when you make the payment it has been closed automatically all right so finally we will cross it one more time the material transaction whether it has been costed or not in find yes it has been costed now i am interested to check what account has been 
involved at the time of essay yeah i have seen here two accounts one is debit one is credit here the credit account is my cash account which i have given so it should be your inventory uh, receiving inventory account which you given at issuing parameter ever and this is your inventory valuation account which you have given at your organization parameters okay you can see that inventory valuation account which you used to give at your organization parameters so if you want you can cross check that to from your inventory inventory set up organization parameters so go ahead hit that so that you will find your uh, inventory valuation account in your costing tab okay, go to costing information you can see the sorry the material account is hitting from here and the uh, 410 it is coming from your uh, inventory uh, receiving inventory information sorry uh, receiving the parameters okay so the cash account will be like your inventory valuation account that is coming from here so we will cross check one more account which is 1410 from our receiving parameters so we will check the parameters from where it is defaulting so we will get clarity our inventory organization will be go ahead and we can see the receiving inventory account 1410 it is coming there okay in our material transaction is coming there go to material transaction and you can see one this is this has been uh credited this has been debited okay when you make the receipt and when you when you make the invoice the accrual account which you will affect at the time of receiving the accrual account will get hit that has been nullified you can check here okay that the account came here the liability account and you can see here at the time of for payment the liability and cash clearance come into picture the accounting entry is, is like this when you make the uh, payment uh, sorry receipt the inventory uh, valuation account will get hit when you make the delivery uh, inventory valuation account will get hit that means it will be debited and what will be the credit the credit account will be your uh, inventory receiving account we already made the receipt then the accrual account will be credited when you make the uh, invoice to customer supplier then the accrual account will be uh, debited and liability account will be credited when you make the payment the liability uh, liability uh, liability account will be credit uh, sorry debit right and the cash clearance come into your uh, pay credit side so liability debit and cash clearance credit so that is how the accounting entry sir thank you for watching please subscribe my channel and uh, like it and share with your friends